Nice to see you. Almost nice lunchtime, right? Klaus, I'm so hungry. Um, so, this is obviously a very iconic movie to a lot of people. Uh -huh. um, and it's also, I mean, this was an author that I grew up reading. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was exciting, I mean, usually you hear a remake and you're like, eh, but in this case, it was more faithful to the book than the original. 100%. You know, that was really our main focus was we didn't even think about the original movie, to be honest. You know, I think that De Palma did such a brilliant job, but he left a lot of the stuff out from the book. He really took his own liberties and created a different story in a way. And I really fell in love with the Stephen King novel, and that's what I wanted to show. I wanted to portray who, in Stephen King's eyes, was Carrie, not Justin De Palma's. Mm -hmm. It's almost like <laughs> a... Uh, uh, a superhero like origin story. Yeah, talking about this in a convention. way, totally. I think so because you know, look at the, you know, look at Clark Kent. You know, look at all all the all the characters that then become superheroes. Is that they're always the vulnerable ones, or the ones that actually have the innocence and the meaning behind, you know, do the, you know, you know, with become with with great power comes great responsibility. And you know, Carrie. The only problem with Carrie is that she didn't have the responsibility to take on the power that she was given. Hmm. And we get to see all those scenes where she's sort of experimenting with her power mm -hmm. and trying to figure yeah. it out and how it works and how it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, I was surprised, I would say pleasantly, but surprised nevertheless by, not to give anything away, but how brutal it actually gets towards mm -hmm. the end. Like it goes mm -hmm. from this very kind of quiet character mm -hmm. movie and then the it last... realistic. Yeah. yeah, totally. I mean, I think that we, you know, what De Palma always says that he wished he could have blown up the town like the book does, but he didn't have, you know, in the in this in 1975 when they filmed it, and it came out in 76. Um, they didn't have the CG, they didn't have the yeah. wire work, they didn't have the means, the money, the time to do what what we thankfully had the time and money and means to to create the CG, you know, create the 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 explosions and everything because there's something about seeing a big ending like that to something that is so quiet and then. That is such a climax, and then it goes back down to what's so quiet with Margaret and Julianne. Did you feel... Um, Margaret and Carrie, sorry. Was it a new sort of, you, you know, you mentioned responsibility. Was it a new sort of responsibility to be playing, like, the title character of a movie? Like, it's kind of like the, whole, the movie's resting on, in on you in a way, bigger way than usual. But at the usual. same time, it's like the title character's Carrie, you know what I mean? So right. it's like, it's like, yeah, I am the title character, but it's Carrie. You know, so it kind of stands <laughs> on its own. Like, yeah, it's like my face which is terrifying but you know it, it's sort of like being you know batman or exactly. something exactly like, yeah. it's you know batman speaks for himself the joker speaks for himself you know carrie speaks for carrie you know i'm just the woman behind the mask